friends and family. Thank you so much for coming out here today to celebrate this incredible couple. We're gathered here today in this beautiful place in the sight of God to witness the holy matrimony of my son to my new daughter, TJ and Morgan. So this is not a decision that these two have entered into lightly, but it is with great joy, much prayer, and clear guidance that these two take these vows today. God expects that your commitment today will be forever. It's a covenant for which you will leave your past, your parents, your brothers and sisters, leave all others for the companionship and the intimacy for this one that you've chosen. Today is about forever. Father, I'm thankful for this day. I'm thankful for this marriage. And Holy Spirit, I invite you to fill this place. I pray that you would bless this family, this new family that starts today. Would you bless them? I pray that you would bless the Moore family as they gain a son and bless my family, Lord, as we gain a daughter. In Jesus' name, amen. To the strongest woman that I know, from the day that I met you, I knew that I wanted to keep you around. I grew closer to you more than anyone I've ever known. And to be honest, that feeling hasn't ever slowed down. You've been my best friend since the beginning, from the lunch table at the retreat, to Dr. Rocha's class, to the day I realized I loved you at that banquet, all the way to this very moment, and not a moment has passed where I haven't felt your compassion and love for me through everything that you do. I guess that's one of your greatest strengths and also one of your biggest flaws. You've got the world's biggest heart. And while I'm so, so thankful that you used a pretty big piece of it on me, I want you to remember to use some of it for yourself. You continue to amaze me every single day. Thank you for being so patient with me. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for taking my hand and trusting me with this relationship. What I felt going into this whole thing is still true. I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm eager to make the right choices, but like I said when I proposed, these things may be true, but I don't care. I just know I can't do more of this life without you. Besides, who's ever ready for things like this? It's just like we used to talk about. Me and you, hand in hand, going into this journey together. And while it may be scary, and we may not know how to do it right, we're doing it together promise to be patient with you as you've been with me, and I promise to always have your back no matter what comes between us. I can't see anything that I don't like about you. I never have and I never will. We made it. I love you. And I'm so thankful that my God gave me the privilege of spending the rest of my life with such a lovely woman, my forever sunshine. My love, the day is finally here. I am so beyond excited to be your wife. I can't believe the day is here that I get to marry my best friend. I'm looking for the future of us. It has always been you. Even if I could choose what life I would want to live in, I would choose you and us over anything else because doing taxes and laundry with you is better than anything else. <clears throat> you are my love. And I am so grateful I found my soulmate so early on in this life. You are the man in my dreams. You treat me like a princess and love me so well. Getting to see you never gets old, and I would be lying if I told you I wasn't scared out of my mind right now, but you make me feel safe. You are my home and my forever. Who would have thought almost five years ago it would be us, but here we are. Let's do this. Me and you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you soon. Father, I pray that you would bless this union. I pray that you would sustain this marriage. I pray that you would give them favor and grace as they begin this journey today, in Jesus' name, amen. So based upon the power invested in me by our great God, it is my privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife and son, you may kiss your bride.
Uh, Hans Dodd, if you don't know me, I am Morgan and TJ's uh, really close friend. I've known them for a really long time, um, since the beginning of their relationship. And I just want to say, TJ, I am so proud of the man you have become. Uh, the generosity and the kindness and the sincerity that you've gained through this relationship and, and, and from God it is just truly a sight to behold. And uh, I'm really proud to call you my brother. I love you both so much. Morgan has always been an old soul. She is so wise beyond her years. She's so lovely, obviously. It has been so important to me to protect her and just to guide her. And I've always thought that she deserved the most wonderful life ever. TJ, I see that you are the perfect person to hand Morgan off to. And I came to the realization whenever, especially whenever TJ called Sydney and I to ask us for permission to marry her, which is so sweet. It just reminds me of this quote that I read. You think that the dreamers would find the dreamers and the realists would find the realist, but more often than not, the opposite is true. See, the dreamers need the realists to keep the dreamers from soaring too close to the sun. And the realists, well, without the dreamers, they might never get off the ground. And I just see that so much embodied in y'all. And I just wanna say I'm so happy and I'm so excited to have a front row seat to watch y'all both soar. And I know that together y'all are gonna do so much better than y'all could ever do apart. To see their relationship mature and grow over the years it has been profound. It's been something that I cherish and I will honor for the rest of my life. As a mother, you want nothing more than to see your children grow and learn. And you just pray that the lessons that you taught them in their life will follow through in their lives. So you guys, I just want you to know how proud I am to have you and my family, TJ. And Morgan, I don't think that you could have picked anyone better than TJ. I just pray that God gives you abundant life, blessings, and love to the rest of your marriage. TJ, welcome to the family. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. TJ and Morgan Ingram.